Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids R, and let's draw another version of Tigri. This time it's gonna be the Piggy VHS version, which is really creepy. All right, so I'm gonna sketch it right here, and then we'll ink it on the side. So I'm just gonna sketch this out real quick, so we can see what kind of character we want to create or how we want to draw them. Maybe I'll try to make it a little bit more stylized, perhaps. So that's his nose. So normally these piggy characters are pretty easy to draw, right? Very basic shapes. But this new version is pretty cool. Definitely a lot more menacing. Let's see how's that? Just kind of have him look straight at us. Whiskers, okay, we can draw that later. That one's easy. So I know these are all black. I'm not gonna draw too much of it. The mouth is really cool. So let's make this all dark so that we can have a much nicer drawing, I guess. More menacing drawing. And I think you could see part of the teeth too. It's got a really wicked grin there. And of course the stripes inside. Okay, so that's the head. I might still change it later when you know when we ink it. But let's just go with this for now. Then the body, let's make them nice and strong here. Got a shirt. It's gonna make it a little bit different. Maybe give it some wave. It's legs on the bottom. We can give him a little bit of pose. Let's have him step forward slightly. Yeah, maybe just something like that. Not too dramatic. Let's see, let's draw this side first. This one's holding the sword. Sands right here. Three fingers. It's got a really cool looking sword. Although this part's kind of weird how it goes backwards. The guard. And then it's got a really big blade here. You know, my hand's in the way right here. Maybe just something like that. We'll simplify the blade. We might not even have room uh, on the paper. Okay. This one, he's wearing a glove. Okay, 
Here's his hand. Black glove. Just trying to add a little bit of shading here. And oh, almost forgot about this part. This part's black. Let's give him some muscles. Give him some chest muscles. Of course, we're not going to see the shading here when we're just going to be inking it, but it is kind of fun to just draw that. Just giving his legs a little bit more shading. The hat's actually kind of cool. Maybe give it a little bit more shading as well. I know his ears pokes out, which is kind of strange, but How's that? How's that tiger here? Definitely more menacing than the other versions. Okay, so let's just go with this. I think this is kind of cool. So now let's go uh, go ahead and ink it on the side. Alright, so let's ink this now and the head is pretty simple, um, but there is a curve to this, a slant tail on the top. So I'm gonna draw that line first. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a, a little bit of curve going up and then now I'm gonna draw in the brackets on the side. So just come down. So this part is, is the trickiest part because you're trying to draw a, a nice circle here. So that's going to be the head, well head shape, and then let's just go ahead and draw in the uh, the top here. I'm just going to give this one line on the top here, and then on this side, curve up, and then start on this side. Just give you some reference point here. Just kind of come out. So now we know all we have to do is just kind of connect these two. Just give it a little bit of curve. And then his ear right here. So this one's part behind this, so I'm not gonna draw that. Okay, so now let's draw in the, uh, the face. So right in the middle of this, draw a little triangle here. That's gonna be his nose. So right in the middle. And then from here, we're gonna draw in his awesome mouth, his little grin. So right on the corner here, just curve up. And then as we come down here, um, you can draw a couple of these shapes first on the bottom. That way, now all we have to do is just kind of come down and connect to that. Let's make it a little bit wavy. Okay, and let's see the teeth inside. Let's see, it's kind of like that, right in the middle. We can add in a couple of lines here. And then just kind of come across. But actually, this is going to be all uh, mostly black. So you can, you can leave the teeth like this, but let me shade this in real quick because I think it looks a lot cooler. When it's all dark like this on the inside. All right, and then once we have that, just kind of come uh, on the top of the nose right here to try the snout. Just come down as if you're drawing 
big circle just right behind the mouth. And then the whiskers, just three on each side, so very simple. And then now let's try the eyes. So just come out to the corner here. And I'm gonna shade it in because it looks like here he's got some eye makeup or something or makes him look a lot creepier. And then now you can finish up the eyeball. Just have him look straight at us again. And let's see, I think I, I forgot over here. Um, it's got some drippings here. It's like whatever paint he's drawn on is running. That's definitely very creepy. <laughs> okay. All right, and then now for the stripes. Uh, let's see, we can come to the, the nose area right here. We can draw one first. And then just two more. One on the top, one on the bottom. I know mine is a little bit messy. You guys can draw a little bit cleaner if you like. All right, so that's gonna be the head and now let's move on to the body. So the body is pretty simple. Um, let's just come out slightly first. Now we're gonna come down. This is gonna be the armpit area right here. Just kind of come in. Give him a little bit of muscle in the uh, on the chest. So we're gonna curve in to the waist. Just kind of have it come back out. And for his shirt, I'm just gonna give it just a little bit of wavy line here. Give it a little bit of a slant. And then now let's draw in the legs first before I draw in the arms. Okay, right in the middle right here. Come down, just draw a little line. Now on the outside here, curve. Draw in his thighs, curve out, make them nice and strong. Now I'm going to fan out. And then now we're going to draw, we're going to come down slightly more on this side. And then we just got to draw one big curve going out. It's going to be his foot. Okay, so same thing here on this side, curve curve so here's his knee come down you can pretty much just use this side for reference let's come down and then let's draw another curve okay so those are his legs and then now let's draw his uh his arm so let's try and, uh let's see let's try on this side first I know this one's harder. Actually, I won't even have room for the sword. Okay, just curve down. Here's the armpit. So this is gonna be his elbow. Now we're gonna go out. Just give a little bit bump. Okay, so we're right about here. So now let's draw in the hand. We're gonna start up here. This is gonna be a thumb. Just come out. Just one curve. Okay, that's the palm area. So now we're gonna draw the three fingers. If you wanna make it easy, we just draw in kind of like a little rounded rectangle here. This is gonna be his three fingers and we can just divide this up. So it's a little bit easier this way. All right, and let's see, let's draw, um, let's draw this arm first and then we'll go, go back and draw in the sword. Cause this part's gonna be messy because I'm gonna be going over the drawings. All right, so let's start here. So this part's almost the same. It has a little glove here. So I'm gonna come out slightly and then draw one line a little bit longer. And then we're gonna come down, just kind of pinch it in. Okay, and then now for his fist right here, it's one curve for the thumb. Come down on the side here. And then it's almost like a little check mark right here. 
just connect that and we can add in one little line here to divide up the fingers okay so that's pretty much it for the body and now let's draw in the awesome sword and again I'm just gonna go right over this drawing right here we're gonna start on the bottom And then, so it's going to be in this direction. Just going to draw two little lines here. So we'll simplify the, uh, the sword here. So just draw two lines like this. Okay, top and bottom. And now we're just going to go out. Okay, so now let's draw in the blade. So for the blade, let's see, the easiest way to draw is probably to draw the top part first. So we're going to curve, actually, should I draw this here? Or should I draw it somewhere else? Um, all right, I'm just going to draw it right over it. So just curve out. And then from here, just one little angle right here. And now for the tip, just curve. And then we're gonna come back down here. Now these are really strange shapes, but it's okay if yours doesn't look exactly the same. And then just kind of curve back in here. So as long as you have this nice little hook here, I think it should work. All right, sorry for making a big mess over here, but I think uh, this one's still okay. You can still kind of see the, uh, the Sharpie marks, which is cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill this in real quick. Maybe even the glove. Nice shiny glove. Almost forgot about this again. And this part's all black. All right, so that is it uh, for my version of Tigri from uh, Piggy VHS. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next time.